Dillian White to fight Alexander Povetkin coming up May 2nd. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing if you want to become part of the gang gang notification gang. Please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chat channel donations, Venmo donations, the Cash App, and the Patreon family. We working. Sign up for ESPN Plus below using my link. It definitely helps the channel when you guys utilize that link so keep clicking away you can now bundle espn plus hulu and disney plus all three apps 12.99 a month and you know helps the channel ufc 248 is fight week at asanya romero you can click that link and order that pay-per-view as well now matchroom posted this it says confirmed dillian white fights alexander povetkin may 2nd manchester arena on sale to fight past members this Thursday. General sale goes on sale Friday. White Povetkin. Now, um, I just want to give my thoughts. Uh, in the words of DJ Khaled, another one. Another one. It looks like your boy Ego got this one right. I told you that Dillian White was going to fight Povetkin. Um, this is before Wilder lost to Tyson Fury. Dillian White was like um, constantly berating Wilder still is he was going going after Wilder and I told you the WBC already explained that he's fighting Fury they, they've okayed a trilogy they've okayed basically a cleared schedule for the WBC champion for the remainder of the year Dillian White won't get ordered uh, to fight the WBC champion which we now know is Tyson Fury until fe February of next year 2021 and for whatever reason Dillian White is insistent on going at all these fighters and you know it's weird because it's notice that Dillian White's black and it seems like he's he goes after the black fighter in Deontay Wilder a lot more like I don't see him talking to the Caucasian fighters like Tyson Fury Povetkin nearly as much like in terms of like bashing them and constantly calling them out and saying how much he wants to fight but you know he has this whatever grudge against Dillian White or against Deontay Wilder but needless to say I was right um he's not fighting Wilder he's not fighting Fury he's not fighting another name that came up which is Andy Ruiz he was non-stop talking about Andy Ruiz and I told you he's likely to fight Povetkin and now it's confirmed you know so all that you go to Dillian White's page you see all the post about Wilder all the post about Andy Ruiz none of that really meant anything because the man before you that you're fighting that I knew you would fight for the WBC interim world title is Povetkin you know and now it's been confirmed the other interesting thing is I did a video yesterday uh DAZN's trying to break into the UK market so it sounds kind of weird but they're saying DAZN non-UK fights I guess they're going to put on DAZN UK so basically fights like the influencer fights with Jake Paul Logan Paul if I understand it correctly those would be aired and broadcast through DAZN fights like Canelo versus whoever he fights Caleb Billy Joe Saunders or whatever that would go now through DAZN UK instead of Sky Sports box office but then the Eddie Hearn rematch room cards that are UK based, they're, they're still going to be on Sky Sports box office. So this and then in America, they'll be broadcast through DAZN. So Sky Sports is basically losing because Sky Sports pay-per-view, that's what box office is. But Sky, Spot, Sky Sports box office, their white Povetkin is an interim title fight <laughs> and they're, they're charging you pay-per-view for it. So if DAZN is breaking into the um, UK with the price point that they suggested, then that's going to hurt Sky Sports unless they alter their prices or or do something to compensate. But either way, it looks like Sky Sports may be taking a hit because, you know, how do you have Canelo versus presumably Caleb Smith or Billy Joe Saunders for five pound and then charge 20 pound for and that's for a real title, you know, a real title fight. But you have a secondary interim title and 
you know, you're charging pay-per-view. Like, imagine in America if we did that. Imagine if, let's say, before Jamal Charlo, before Canelo avoided him and uh, became franchise champion, when, when Jamal Charlo was fighting um, Hugo Centeno or who else did he fight before that? Matt Korobov, anybody like that. When he was fighting for the interim title, imagine that being the main event on pay-per-view. When he fought, when when Charlo fought Matt Korobov, that was on free TV on Fox in America. So it's it's crazy to see what makes it to box office pay per view for the UK. Because to me, Dillian White versus Povetkin is not really a pay per view fight, and, and a lot of the undercards are lacking too. So you know, because we know it's not like Joshua is going to be on this card. Joshua has his own fight just announced the day before with Pulev. So, really interesting as DAZN tries to invade the UK market to see how this works out for Sky Sports, you know, with the different price points and one being on pay-per-view, you know, it, it'll be interesting. But White Povetkin, you know, I'm not really super excited. I'll watch it just because I'm a boxing fan. But I, I would have liked to have seen Dillian White versus Luis Ortiz, Dillian White versus, you know, just anybody Povetkin, he's it's funny that Dillian White talks about Wilder fought old Luis Ortiz, but Povetkin was born the same year. Povetkin also is 40. You know, Maris Weck, his last opponent, Dillian White's last opponent, is born in the same year as Povetkin and Luis Ortiz. So it's just funny that Dillian White insults Luis Ortiz and you know, you got some of the British fans and UK fans saying, oh, Luis Ortiz is an old man, but they're about to pay pay-per-view for Povetkin, and he was born in the same year. You can't make this stuff up, people. Let me know what you guys think. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. New media. We working. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.